Hello, everyone. Welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, we're going to be looking at another episode of Kitty Toolkit. The Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology is one of the important institutes for the subject in India, and in order to enter there, you have to attempt the entrance examination for the same. So, in order to do that, you'll need to get some practice done and that's what this video is all about. So today we're going to be practicing some questions based on the subject of chemistry. So let's start off with this question. The ionization enthalpy of helium plus ion is 19.60 into 10 raised to minus 18 joules per atom. The ionization enthalpy of lithium 2 plus ion will be 84.2, 44.1, 63.2, 21.2. Which of these is the correct option? Well, for that we need to be able to find a relation between the ionization enthalpy of helium and the ionization enthalpy of lithium 2 plus. Now, what we do know is that helium has an atomic number of 2. And ionization and lithium has an atomic number of 3. Now, how is ionization enthalpy of an element related to its atomic number? Well, ionization enthalpy is directly proportional to the square of the atomic number. Now, what does that mean? That means ionization enthalpy of lithium 2 plus over the ionization enthalpy of helium plus. So the ratio of the two ionization enthalpies will be equal to the ratio of the squares of the elements. So therefore, you can using this relation, you can find out the ionization enthalpy of lithium 2 plus as ionization enthalpy of helium plus times <clears throat> the ratio of the atomic number, square of the atomic number. So that's z square lithium 2 plus over z square helium plus. We know the ionization enthalpy of helium plus, that's given. We also know the atomic number of lithium and helium. So therefore, the ionization enthalpy of lithium 2 plus will be equal to 19.6 into 10 raised to minus 18 times 3 square over 2 square. Now that is equal to 19.6 into 10 raised to minus 18 times 9 over 4. So let's find out 19.6 times 9. 9 6 is uh, 54. 9 9 is 81. 81 plus 5 is 86. Um, 1 9 is 9. 9 plus 8 gives you 17. So therefore, we get 176.4 over 4. So we can do 1764 over 4. So that's 4 gives you 16, gives you 1. Put the 6 down, another 4. 16 gives you 0. And then you have the point, because there's a decimal point over here, so 4. So you just put a 1 there. So 4 minus 4 gives you 0. So the ionization enthalpy of lithium 2 plus will be equal to 44.1 into 10 raised to minus 18. And the unit is joules per atom. So ionization enthalpy of lithium is 44.1 into 10 raised to minus 18 joules per atom. Now, if we were to look at the following options, it is clear that option B, 44.1, is the correct option as per the calculations that we've done. So, the idea here is to relate ionization enthalpy with the atomic number, 
which basically is this. Ionization enthalpy is the square is related to the square of the atomic number. Find the relation between the two ionization enthalpies and then uh, use that to identify the ionization enthalpy of lithium 2 plus, which is 44.1 into 10 raised to minus 18 joules per atom, aka option B. Now let's look at this question. How many molecules of CO2 are formed when one milligram of 100% pure CaCO3 is treated with excess hydrochloric acid? Now for that question, we need to understand the reaction where calcium carbonate is treated with excess hydrochloric acid. Now the equation goes like this, CaCO3 plus 2HCl, because it's an excess, gives you CaCl2 plus H2O plus CO2. Now remember, the question is asking us how many molecules of CO2 are formed. So therefore, we need to identify the relation between CaCO3 and CO2. One mole of CaCO3 gives you one mole of CO2. Now, one mole of CO2 is the same thing as 6.023 into 10 raised to 23. Now, calcium carbonate. Calcium has an atomic mass of 40. Carbon has 12. Three oxygen atoms together gives you an atomic mass of four, gives you a mass of 48. 48 plus 12 is 60. 60 plus 40 gives you 100. So therefore, 100 grams of CaCO3 will give you 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of CO2. Now we need to find out how many molecules are formed for one milligram. For that, what we do is we use the unitary method. So since 100 grams gives you six point gives you one mole of CO2, if we have one gram of CaCO3, it gives you 6.023 in 10 raised to 23 over 100 molecules of CO2. Now that is equal to 6.023 into 10 raised to 21 molecules of CO2. So that's the number of molecules of CO2 formed for every gram of CaCO3. Now one milligram is one over a thousand grams, which is 10 raised to minus three grams. So now we multiply the unitary equation with 10 raised to minus three. So if you want to get 10 raised to minus three grams of CAC, it's, if you were to have 10 raised to minus three grams of CaCO3, the number of molecules of CO2 that we get would be 6.023 into 10 raised to 21 over 10 raised to minus, I mean over 10 raised to three. That gives you 6.023 into 10 raised to 18 molecules of CO2. So one milligram of CaCO3 gives us 6.023 into 10 raised to 18 molecules of carbon dioxide. Now if we were to look at the options, you'll see that all of them have the same base. However, the exponents differ and the correct exponent is 18, so therefore option D is the correct option. Option A is one mole, that's for 100 grams. Option B has 10 raised to 20, that's for um, 100 milligrams. Um, 10 raised to 19, that's for 10 milligrams. So option D would be the correct option because 10 raised to 18 times 6.023 molecules of CO2 are formed when you have one milligram of ca calcium carbonate. According to the equation, CaCO3 plus 2HCl gives you CaCl2 plus H2O plus CO2. So, that concludes this 
episode of Kitty Toolkit. We hope you found it interesting. If you liked our video, then don't forget to share it with everyone else and also press the like button. You can also subscribe to our channel Agile Rank Mate to learn more. You can also hit the notifications icon in order to receive updates about our latest content. So, until the next episode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.